Welcome to our DCV notation practice lesson. This is lesson number three in our hydraulic schematics and hydraulic calculations course. And it's going to be a quick and brief practice uh, to make sure you know how to read the numbers in directional control valves. Uh, so let's start the practice. So here we have five directional control valves and we are going to analyze them together. So in our last lesson we said that directional control valves are marked with two numbers x slash y in this format. x being the number of ports a directional valve has and y being the number of positions the directional control valve has. Okay, so the first DCV is fairly simple. We see that we have two positions. So we have two squares. This is square number one. This is square number two. And we also have two ports. Ports number two and port number three. On the left neutral position we have two closed ports. And on the right side we have the flow during the actuated position. So when we turn it on, it sets flow through the pipeline. So this is going to be a two slash two way valve because it has two ports and two positions. The second DCV we have here is a little bit more complicated. So as you can see, it has three ports, port number one, port number two, and port number three. In the first position, flow takes place to the cylinder so it flows to the cylinder in the second position flow takes out of the cylinder to the exhaust so this kind of dcv is put on single acting cylinders so cylinders that have only one port we talked about those cylinders so only one port and so we know it has three ports and two positions making it three slash two-way valve Okay, we have this third DCV down here, which has one, two, three, four ports. So this kind of DCV is going to be installed for a double acting cylinder. And basically, that kind of cylinder has two ports. It's a double acting. It can go left, it can go right. So we know that we have four ports and two positions, two squares. So it's going to be four slash two way valve. So four ports, two positions. Now we came to our fourth DCV. So here we can see it has three squares. So this means it has three positions. So two open positions and one closed neutral position. This is our closed neutral position. So we have one, two, three, four, four ports and three positions, making this a four slash three-way valve. And the last one has two open positions with two exhaust ports. Let's count the ports. So we have one, two, three, four, five ports and two positions, making this a five slash two way valve. So remember, X is for ports and Y is for positions. Thank you so much for being focused. I hope you grasp this simple numbering method and see you in the next lesson.